everyone, welcome to or welcome back to Book and Prejudice. My name is Mar and today I want to talk about all of the books that were recommended to both myself and my husband at the Golden Hair Lit Fix uh, experience that we did yesterday, Saturday. So without further ado, grab your drink of choice. Today we have water in the Taylor Swift cup and let's get started with the video. Yesterday we had the amazing opportunity to go and do the Golden Hair Books Litfix experience. Now, Golden Hair Books is a very small bookshop found in Stockbridge in Edinburgh, and that is my husband's favorite bookshop, one of my favorite bookshops. We love it. We used to live in that area of Edinburgh and we used to go there almost weekly. They have a very good curated selection of books and we just loved hanging out there. In the winter months they have fire so it's just a great cozy spot in Edinburgh for anyone that's looking for good bookshops and two of my best friends Julie and Julia gifted us for our wedding gift an experience to go to Golden Hair and do the lit fix experience um, and that includes they come to you they give you all of these recommendations and then you get X amount of store credit and you just go ham on the bookshop. So we booked it for yesterday, Saturday the 4th. Now, um, um, like we got there for like 10.30 because that was when our appointment was. And as we got in, we said, hi, this is Mark, Greg. We're here for this bit. And the guy says, have a browse. I'll be with you in two minutes. So we just take a look at the bookstore and he shows up almost immediately with two humongous tote bags full to the brim of books. And he says, ready to go. And then we went off we went to a coffee shop now i know all about not walk around with strangers yada 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 but this was fine. it was fine we, we made it alive as you guys can see so we went to another a, a coffee shop like a five minute walk from the bookshop and there he just starts pulling books out of the bag telling us what the book is about telling us how he came across to the, with the book and then saying oh i think this is a really good book for you Greg," or oh mar i think you would really enjoy this book he also added a couple of books that he was like, I don't actually know if you guys would like this book, but I personally like this book. So I thought you guys might want to hear about it. And it was wonderful. We were there for like an hour and a half almost. And then we came back to the shop. And once we were in the shop, he put all of the books that he had recommended in a trolley. And he was like, left them in the kids section. <laughs> feel free to go grab, grab them when you have a second and take a look and decide what you want. And also feel free to browse around the shop and get other bits and bobs if you want. So that's what we did. We went to go around the shop. We picked up a couple more books. We then went to the trolley and we grabbed all of the books that he had recommended us. And I wanted to talk about this book now because it was honestly such a fun experience. It was so nice to just hear what someone, he had 16 years of experience selling books. So it was really, he was really knowledgeable. And it was really good to hear what he had to say. Like he understood our tastes and then he was able to expand them. There's books here that I had heard about, but the majority I hadn't heard about and neither had my husband. Now, while I talk about these books, please keep in mind one thing. I don't actually know much about the ones my husband picked. He has different tastes to me, but I thought it'd be fun to talk about them nonetheless, because there's some, some, some really good ones. So let's get going. I have them in my blue desk here that you cannot see, but they're, they're here. Um, so yeah. Let's get going. First one, I am so excited that he pulled up this one because it was on my Christmas list, the whole first trilogy. So I'm excited to have the first one out. And that is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hall. I love, love, love the concept of this series. And I have a friend who has consistently been reading them throughout the years. So I'm really excited to jump in the bandwagon of reading them. So I got the first one, very excited. Off it goes to the floor. This is one of those books that we hadn't heard about. We very rarely read about this genre. And it is The Creek on the Stairs by Eva Bjorg Aegis daughter. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, this girly. I feel so bad. That is not well pronounced. But this is a thriller that takes place in a small Icelandic town. And I haven't heard about this, but I have read a lot of Camilla Lackberg who is essentially the same but in a different coal town in a different country um and i love these concept books so much of 
a, a, a small community where everyone knows everyone. So uh, the creek on the stairs, very excited to bring this. I think when I'm bringing this one to our honeymoon, I feel like this would be a really good beach read, even though it's in the winter. Make it make sense. This is one of Greg's. It's the driver's seat by Muriel Spark. He said it was really funny and really poignant. So Greg went ahead and got it. It's very much up his up his street. Like these are the kind of books he likes. This is Coming Through Slaughter, Michael Ondaatje. I think this is gonna be really fun. This is a Greg recommendation, not a Mar recommendation, but I think he's really gonna enjoy it. And I think I might actually give it a shot as well when I'm in, a, in the mood to read something story. It narrates the story of a trumpeteer called Buddy Bolden, who was the best trumpeteer in... Trumpeteer? Is that how you call them? The cornet. Okay, well, he played the cornet. And he was the best cornet player in New Orleans until one day he goes crazy. And he just narrates his life. We got Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. I feel like this book comes with no introduction needed, but I will introduce it regardless. It's about an orc who is tired and decides to open a coffee shop and finds a power of friendship. That's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what this book is about. Very excited to read it. I know my friend Celia has read it. Um, so I'm excited to be able to speak about it with her, but got the book. Um, probably wouldn't have bought it if I didn't have the store credit, but we had it, so we used it. Greg and also myself is very into Japanese literature, so we have a few of those. This is one of them, Scattered All Over the Earth by Yoko Tawara, which narrates the life of, a, of what happens when Japan stops existing, it comes underwater, and it's simply known as Sushi Land, the land of sushi. And it follows our main character, Hiroko, who thinks she might be the only Japanese person alive until she finds out that there's a person called Susanu, a mysterious man who might also be the only person Japanese allowed in the world, alive in the world. So she goes on a quest to find him and it kind of shows that the importance of literature, the importance of books, the importance of language you know having your own language which is something that a concept that i really relate to because i've been in the uk for so many years it's very hard for me to find things in spanish so i cannot even imagine what it would be like if i was the only person that i could speak my own language with this is a mar book it's called shield maiden by sharon emeritus and it narrates the life of frida who has longed to be a shield maiden but wasn't able to because of a injury and suddenly she's kind of wrapped into this like heisty concept he said that i would really enjoy this if i enjoy like upbeat fun books and i do enjoy upbeat fun books so i thought yeah i'm sold we have infinite ground by martin mckines this is a great book but i'm gonna be reading this um which is one of the things, by the way, that I want to say. This guy was so conscious that we had such different reading styles that he went out of his way to find books that we would both enjoy because that was something we both noted that we couldn't really share books together. Now, so say, Infinite Ground uh, narrates the story of Carlos's disappearance and the retired inspector who takes a case and they go into like an unknown South American forest essentially. It looks really fun. It looks really interesting, the concept as well. Off the shelf. Oh, the shelf is a floor, not the floor. They're like, they won't be there forever. They're, they're, they're there now. They have to go there. I don't have anywhere else to put them. Anyways, this is also a great book. It's called The Passenger by Cormac McCarthy. I don't think this was recommended by him, by the guy. This is, we had a few pounds extra of credit, so he picked this one and I picked another one. But yeah, Greg's gonna be reading this one. It doesn't sound like something I'm gonna enjoy. No, this was recommended by him. I don't know. Maybe yes. I. We do have very different styles of books, but it sounds interesting. I might give it a shot. If I ever run out of books in this shelf, I might read all of the books in this shelf that Greg like would be like, I recommend you read this. And then that'd be a very sweet thing to do. Anyways. Next one is Our Wives Under the Sea. Um, look at that. 
and then look at that and then look at that impressive and this is by julia armfield and this book talks about leah who is married to mary and she's a marine biologist of sorts and leah goes down on a submarine for what's meant to be i believe a week and she's gone for three months and when she come back she's obviously a little bit like oh cuckoo you know something's happened to her something's different i'm like yes she's been missing for three months inside a submarine but you know oh what's happening well that's what we're gonna find out when we read our wives under the sea really fun i might just bring this one it's quite short so i might just read this one sh soon ish because um it sounds like a like a fun little depressive book to read um this is also a great book but it's actually one that i'm kind of interested in which is city of last chances by adrian tchaikovsky not the composer for those thinking the same thing that i barely thought for a second or two and it follows the story of Ilmar, a city which is dark, darkened. There's a darkness in it. Um, and I'm not too sure what else happens in it because as I said, this is a great book, but I like the cover. So I might be reading it because I do judge a book by its cover. Off the floor. Oh, okay. This is a Mark book. This is Nettle and Bone by Tate King F Kingfisher. And it is kind of follows the story of Mara and her sisters who have been trapped in a tower by uh, an evil prince who's abusive towards them and it just shows how Mara gets them out. It's a quest book and I like a good quest book and I had heard so many things about this book so I'm very excited to be reading it soon. It looks really good. This is a Greg book. This is The Ark Sakura by Kobo Abe. As I said, Greg is very into Japanese literature so he just wanted to get proper recommendations as opposed to just what he picks up in the, in the shops. So this is about, in this unnerving science fiction fable, a recluse known as Mole retreats to a vast underground bunker only to find this strange guest will be trapped and a giant toilet may prove even greater obstacles than nuclear apocalypse. I will not be reading this book because I am terrified of nuclear apocalypse, but Greg will and then he'll tell me how he liked it. Oh, this is a neat book. I picked this book. It's called The Sun of Blood and Ruin by Marily Ma Lattice. And it is about a woman who is the, a vigilante of sorts called the Pantera. She's the finest source woman of the new world. It takes place in Mexico right after the Spanish colonized it. So I'm very excited to give it a read, learn a little bit more and hear what the Pantera does also. The guy sold this book to me by saying, it has a map. I was like, well, get me four copies. Count me in. Oh, this is a great book as well. This is Thermush by Sven Holm. I don't know what it is about, but Greg picked it and the cover is quite funky. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. So this one takes place because this is a book about a hotel, a luxury hotel in which a bunch of rich people go when they hear that the end of the world's coming along. And I'm not interested in it, but it sounds a lot like season two or three of a Spanish TV show called Del Barco, when the boat finds a hotel full of people. This looks like it. Greg found it interesting, so we got it because he found it interesting and I wanted him to get some books as well. Um, he also got Kurt Vonnegut's The Sirens of Titan and the Night Always Comes by Willy Vlautin. I don't know what this one is about, but this one is about uh, three nights in which this one, uh, the main character, woman, is trying to save her house. Kurt Vonnegut is way weird for me. I think I had Slaughterhouse 5 somewhere around this house. But I read it in high school, it was weird, man. And the last of the books that Greg got is The Employees, a workplace novel of the 22nd century by Olga Ravn. That is a very infuriating cover because that looks like a post-it, but it's not. It's just there. <coughs> but he started reading it last night. He's on page 23. So I hope he's liking it. And then the last two books that I picked for myself is Rouge by Mona Awad uh, for two reasons. One, I heard um, Peru's project, Regan got it, and I love her to bits. And two, I 
loved bunny you guys know my passion for bunny is unmatched so i thought get the next one that she got out and the last one i have is called be sure by Sheenan mcguire and it's wayward children books one two three i don't know what it is about it, i got it because listen there's three books in one right that girl map that's a steal i got three for one but yeah those are all of the books that we were recommended at this golden fix uh no golden hair lit fix event um it was really fun it was a lovely gift it was a lovely way of having a saturday well spent so i'm very grateful that we got to it i'm really grateful as well for john who made such a fun experience at the whole thing and who knew so much about so many things there's so many books in this pile that i hadn't heard of that i just cannot wait to dig my teeth down but for now let's put in our tbr shelf we're running out of space but we'll figure it out and i will see you guys very soon with another video until then don't forget to like subscribe all the jazz and i'll see you guys very soon